guys, so I'm here to do another uh, Japanese candy subscription box. This is Okashi Connection, and this is the December box. I'm trying to squeeze it in before the end of December, so let's just get started. So this is the inside of it. So you get the paper that tells you what everything is, and it says that you can see the blog for detailed descriptions of everything that you get. Um, this is everything in the box. The first thing is this really adorably packaged item that is pink and has a little kitty eating cotton candy and it is very, very cute. So I'm going to assume that this is cotton candy. Um, and she has like a little balloon with a fish on it. So this is not on this. So I don't know what it is. I guess I can check the blog and see. I think that's really frustrating. I don't I don't get it. I would like to know what I got. I don't know why the paper doesn't show it. It's it's kind of irritating, but that's okay. Whatever. We're just gonna try it anyway. Ooh. Ooh. So it is white and it literally looks like white cotton. Like it looks like a big cotton ball. This is very strange right now. It smells really good. And when you first put it on your tongue, it tastes sweet. But then after it dissolves, I literally taste nothing. I'm like waiting for this really sweet flavor to happen. And I feel like it's not happening. And it's like white. Maybe it's like a tasteless cotton candy? Is it supposed to just be like sugar flavor? I don't know. It doesn't like have like a sweet flavor like the pink cotton candy like has like the sweet pink flavor and then the blue has like the blue flavor this doesn't really have a flavor it's just kind of like cotton candy that's flavored like cotton candy I don't know <laughs> it's kind of weird okay well I kind of wish that it tastes more like something but if you like tasteless cotton candy you'll like that okay next are these things which look kind of terrifying they look like some sort of rice cracker Natsukashi curry sembe. So I'm going to assume that it's curry flavored. Ooh. Okay, so this one is shaped like a little fish. Can't really see. Oh, I completely forgot. So someone had commented saying they wish that I would do like a rating system, which I totally agree with and I completely just forgot about until just now. So I'm going to do a ranking from one to five. One is going to be, I don't really care for it, and five is going to be, I really, really like it. So for the cotton candy, I'd say probably like a three, because it was pretty good, but it didn't really have like a flavor, so I guess it's kind of like in the middle, so I'm going to go ahead and give it three. Back to the fish thing. This tastes a lot like a Frito, like almost exactly like a Frito by Lay's. It's not bad. Let's try one of these ones that have a weird pattern on it. That one is definitely curry flavored. I'm getting like a spiciness. I'm not a huge fan of curry, but if I did like curry, I would really like these. I'll probably go ahead and give these like a four because if you know that you like curry, then you'll really like them, but I don't really like curry. Another one just tastes kind of like a Frito, so overall I thought that was pretty good. Next is this one, which is Pierre Argesan's strawberry roll cake, which I'm very excited about because I love roll cakes and strawberry. It smells really, really strong of fake strawberry smell. This is a lot tinier than I was expecting. It's like little teeny tiny. You can't really see the cream in the middle as well as the packaging, but that's okay. So that was really good. I'm going to go ahead and give that a five because I just ate that whole thing. It was delightful. It was moist. The bread had like a nice vanilla and then the strawberry filling was really good and overall I just love anything that's kind of bready and like pastry like so I totally am giving that a five because I suck that sucker down wow there's a lot of stuff in here so next is this thing which is really large abatsuko fruit ramen so there's a melon one a strawberry one a lemon one a grape one and an orange one so maybe I'll just try one I don't know that I want to open all of them so they just look like little like pellet things. Ooh, that's weird. So it's a lot like a sweet tart. It's the same texture, it's kind of chalky. And it just kind of dissolves straight in your mouth, like powder. 
The strawberry flavor is really good. It's very tart. It's pretty much like a sweet tart, only thicker. So I'd say these are pretty good. I'd probably give them like a three, maybe a four, maybe like three and a half. Okay, well, these like a three and a half. If you like sweet tarts, then you'll like these. I'm probably gonna be really bad at rating these, so I'm just saying, sorry. So next is this thing, which is called the Fusion Bubble Gum, and I actually got this in, I think it was my last Okashi Connection box. I'm pretty sure I got this. Um, these are really, really good. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and give these five right now because I remember keeping these and eating them. Um, so I, I'm not gonna do it right now, just because I have to open it and this video is probably already going to be long. But these are really, really good, and they taste like blueberry. There's three different flavors of blueberry. It says it's gum, but it kind of doesn't really work very well as a gum. I just kind of eat it like candy, but these are really, really good, so I give these a five, but I'm not going to eat them right now. I'll eat them later. Next are these Ann Pan Man Choco Balls, Koro Koro Ball. I'm pretty sure I had these before. I'm pretty sure these are like malt balls. It's just like a little ball covered in chocolate. Yeah. It has like crispy on the inside. I'm pretty sure I had these before. So these are good. I give them a five. They just taste like exactly like, what are they? Like Whoppers maybe? Like it's um, milk chocolate on the outside and like a crispy like wafer on the inside. They're really good. Next is this Lot Choco Pie. It's, I believe it's chocolate cake covered in chocolate with cream in the middle. Not chocolate cake. It's vanilla cake. Sorry. Mm, really good. Again. Five. It tastes very good. <laughs> it's very good, very sweet. Next is this one, which says Lot Custard Cake. So this is what it looks like. It kind of just looks like a big like muffin. Mmm. Mmm. The inside has like a custard that's yellow. And it's very sweet. And it's really, really good. I think I like this one better than the chocolate one, actually. The breading tastes a lot like a Twinkie. It has a very similar texture. And I like Twinkies, so it's really good. So I give this one a five. Next is this Umebo. And it's supposed to be teriyaki burger flavor. And I think the last one of these I got was salami flavored, which I did not like. I know some other people liked that. But I did not, so... Definitely has an interesting smell to it. it. Has the texture of a Cheeto, but it's hollow. It's coated in a really strong flavored powder that's very, very salty. It does pretty much taste like teriyaki. I don't know how much it tastes like a teriyaki burger. Definitely has like a soy sauce teriyaki thing going on. I don't know, I'd give that one a two because I don't really like it. But I know some people like those a lot. <clears throat> Next is this Securo Musket Gum, and it comes in this green package, and it looks like you can tear it apart. So it comes in like this little package that we will open. Ooh, smells good. So it looks like from the packaging that we can just rip this. Ooh, fun. It's like string cheese. Whoa, it's weird. Like I'm chewing it, and it's just going into pieces and dissolving, so... I don't know if it's supposed to be gum. No. I'm stupid. I didn't read it right. It's gummy, so it's a gummy. It's not gum. I can read. Whatever. But it is really fun. And it tastes really good. It kind of tastes like... I think it's supposed to be grape flavor. Like green grapes. Anyway, it's really sweet. It's really good. I'd probably give it a four. So, there you go. Next are these Choco Lumberjack Stumps, which are super cute. And there's a little lumberjack with his little stumpies. Cute little packaging. <laughs> They're so cute, little stumpies. So there's like the little bread thing in the middle that has like the rings, and then there's like a little wooden, or wooden, there's a chocolate stump, and it looks so cute. Mm. Those are really good. The um, inside part kind of almost tastes like a graham cracker. And then the chocolate's really good, so I give these a five. They're definitely in the same realm as the other chocolate and bread things from Japan, like Pocky and all of that. It's really, really good. And then lastly is this huge package of Christmas-related snacks, which I think is super, super cute and perfect for Christmas time. So that is really super cute, and it has really cute Christmassy things on the front. There's a ton of really cute things in here. 
There's another one of those Ramune sweet tart things. There's this, which I believe is a little marshmallow, which I think has chocolate in it. We'll see. It's like a little marshmallow puff. Yeah, it has chocolate in the middle. Then there are these little hard candies, which I've had before, and I believe they're supposed to be like plum flavored. They're hard. To me, they just taste like sugar, but I, I've heard that they're supposed to be plum flavored. Then there are these orange candies. There's this, which doesn't really look like it's Christmas related. It's like a baseball, and it's like a baseball like jelly thing. Smells interesting. It's definitely like a jelly, but I don't really know what the flavor is supposed to be because it's kind of light flavored. So, I don't know what that's supposed to be. Then there is this guy. Whoa, what are these? They're like little crunchy, oops. There's like little crunchy bread things. Hmm. Those are good. They're like little croutons. Just like little like bread puffs. Hmm. Those are quite delightful. It's like a a rice corn, maybe a corn snack. Then there's this one. That's very cute. It has him on there with a Santa hat. Ooh, this one has chocolate. It's like a little chocolate. I think this is a chocolate Yumebo. Mmm. Mmm. The inside's like peanut butter flavor. And it's like a peanut butter like Cheeto covered in chocolate. That's really good. And then lastly is this one. Oh, I don't know what this is gonna be. I'm like so scared of these. I don't know what this is supposed to be flavored. It kind of tastes like ranch. I don't know, I like this one better than the other one. I don't know what it's supposed to be though. It's like ranch flavored, I think. Maybe or something similar to ranch. I know ranch is not really probably a flavor in Japan. But it tastes like ranch to me, slightly, so that was pretty good. So once again, that was the Okashi Connection subscription box. I will put all the information down in the description so you can go down there and expand it and see all the lovely information and links and all of that stuff. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know what you guys think down in the comments, and I will talk to you later. Bye!